So these are just some of my thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. Now, unfortunately, I don't have one to review. I wish I could review one right now, but I don't. I do have one in my hand, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to review it. I wish I could, but I can't. This bad boy right here is going to my father later tonight. The reason I have it is because he doesn't know a lot about technology, especially mobile technology. So I'm going to be setting this up for my father. And right after this video, this bad boy is going to my father. But here's some of my first impressions of the phone. What I can say is the S6 Edge Plus is a very beautiful looking phone. It's almost better than the iPhone in my opinion in terms of build quality. As you can see, it's just an amazing phone. And as you can see on the back, we are on Verizon, which is a bummer because they still have to put their Verizon 4G logo. Well, at least on the new smartphones, they don't put the Verizon logo on the home button like my Note 2. The Note 2 actually had the Verizon logo on the home button. Overall, I give it A plus in terms of the build quality. Now, I'm gonna run down some of the specs if you don't know any of the specs of the S6 Edge Plus. It's basically the same specs as the S6. It has an octa-core processor, eight-core processor. It also has a, a four gig of RAM. It also has a lollipop. It is gonna get Android M or Android Marshmallow in the next year to year and a half which is very nice. It is running TouchWiz, of course. Overall, this is going to be a powerhouse of a phone. The only bad thing about the S6 Edge Plus is that there's no micro SD card slot for more storage, and there's also no removable battery, which makes this phone kind of a hard seller, seller when there's no removable battery and no removable storage so you can't upgrade the storage or change the battery and the battery on this phone is only 3000 milliamp and with an octa-core processor and 4 gig of ram i'm kind of worried of the battery life on this phone we'll have to see how good the battery life is going to be on this phone overall this is a very sexy phone i'm not even going to lie as you can see this is the the uh, black one it's supposed to be black that's what Samsung calls it, but it's really a, a dark blue color. As you can see on camera, it's more of a dark blue color. I wouldn't necessarily call this the black version. It kind of looks dark blue, but it still looks very sexy. Now, if I was going to pick up the S6 Edge Plus today, I would definitely pick up the gold one. The gold one just looks way better than the dark blue one. Does the dark blue one look good? Yes, but the gold one just looks way sexier than this one but either one you go with is going to be a better choice believe it or not my father actually wanted the gold s6 edge plus but he couldn't get the gold one the reason is the gold one did not come in 64 gig only the dark black or the dark blue one comes in 64 gig so if you do want 64 gig you are only limited to the dark gray color which really sucks you can't get 64 in the gold color which most people will agree more space is better than just a stupid color even though the gold one is so 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 sexy i'm not even gonna lie that thing just looks beautiful but both of them not neither the less looks really really fine now coming up in september my contract is going to be expiring so which one am i going with it looks like i may be going with the Note 5. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to let my dad test his phone out for about a week or two or a couple of days and tell me how he's liking the S6 Edge Plus to determine my decision. But right now, it looks like I may be going with the Note 5. I'm not 100% sure. But whatever phone I get in September, I will be doing a full review of the new phone in September. So if you're wondering about Samsung and their new phones, I will be doing a review on my channel. It'll just be one month early or one month late it will be in September I do apologize for that I wish I could have bought one out of pocket because these phones are so damn sexy I'm not even gonna lie I really wish I could have got one but unfortunately I couldn't get one am I willing to pay the eight nine hundred dollars out of pocket no I'm probably not willing to pay the out-of-pocket expense 
when realistically my contract is up in September. I just have to wait one month and one month will fly by really fast. And if I bought it today on release date, I really would have been disappointed. So that's the reason I don't have one to review. Unfortunately, like I said at the beginning of the video, this bad boy is going to my father right after this video. I'm going to drive over there and hand this phone to him. He's going to be the proud owner of a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. And I did forget to talk about the screen. The screen is a quad HD. It's not quite 4K resolution yet. Samsung will probably put 4K displays on their next smartphones in a year, in a year and a half. But right now we're still at quad HD. It's not quite 4K quality, but it's better than 1080p. So you are getting better pixels than a 1080p display, but you're not quite getting 4K. Is it going to look crispy as hell? Yes, it's going to look crispy as hell, especially if you're watching Netflix, YouTube videos, all that jazz. It's going to look really sexy on this phone. I'm not even going to lie. Overall, I am very satisfied with this phone, and I can't wait to pick mine up in September. So these are just some of my thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, and peace out. I'll see you guys later in my next video. I'm out.